Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and you might be wondering why I'm in a jumpsuit. Well, truth be told, the work on my costume thing has gotten to the point where I feel like I can show it off to you guys. So this is actually the first layer of it. Um, you can't actually see because of how the camera is, but <clears throat> um, the costume actually does have uh, knee pads on it. So basically what this is, is a spacesuit. Now it's done fairly realistically. That is not uh, not so much Iron Man, more what you might see if you happen to come across the NASA channel. The actual purpose of the suit is for uh, exploration. It's so the wearer can go out on the surface of a planet and move about on it. Primarily, it's 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 just for surveying. They're not like going out, finding uncharted worlds, and meeting people. It's it's more a go out and see how tall that hill is and radio back and stuff. Not very glamorous work, and I'm trying to build the suit with that aspect of the job in mind. These are the gloves, and these are just uh, work gloves that I picked up at Harbor Freight. For, uh, I think I got a pack of eight of these for five bucks. But I'm, they're really influencing the color scheme of it. See how they're kind of a black, yellow, sort of hazard colors, if you will. The one downside of this thing is it does get hot, and I'm trying to look around to see if there are any things I can do about that. I actually, one of you suggested I buy this this uh, cooling vest here. And I did, and it's pretty neat. The only problem is this thing is, you're, you're supposed to submerge it in water before you use it. it. It cools via evaporation. Not actually because it's got any kind of liquid inside or it's like wearing one of those gel pack things. So that could actually come up as an issue because there are electronics in this thing and I don't need water evaporating onto those. So the final piece, is this thing. This is a shell I've been working on, a uh, helmet incorporated into it, and this just slips over me, um, like so. Not finished yet. So there you go. Um, there's gonna be, a, uh, I'm thinking plexiglass, a plexiglass dome over this part and um, anyway this thing's gonna be painted as you can you know the the yellow black sort of color scheme I'm gonna put LEDs up inside the hood here and you can see from the back there's gonna be some stuff I'm the uh, there's going to also be there a fan apparatus in here I've got some old server fans that I've taken out and I'm gonna be building them inside here so I can get some airflow circulating inside the suit because otherwise this thing does get really really stuffy. Now I know the helmet's a little sideways, that'll go away with more bracing, trust me this thing was way sideways before I started attaching it to the the actual body of the suit. Now on the back um, I've built the mount for it but I haven't built anything to attach the mount to the uh, carapace here so yeah, I'll, I'm not sure what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna show it to you, but on the back there's gonna be a fairly sizable life support unit, and that thing's actually gonna have a battery incorporated into it, and I'm trying to figure out if, if I, uh, if I want that to be what powers up the entire suit, or if I want an independent battery source on the suit. The suit itself is actually made out of discarded horse fencing. It's this, uh, plastic, no, it's like a vinyl plastic sheet stuff with high high um, high grade wire going through it so I chose that because you know it's solid this thing can really like I can fall down on this thing and it'll be okay aside from ironically aside from maybe the helmet part I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that anyway um, on the suit like right here I'm going to incorporate a flashlight and obviously the gloves are gonna be dressed up a bit. I've actually got an example. This is something I made a few years ago and uh, this is just a piece from a, uh, a, a hockey goalie's uh, protection for the foot. I just put it on the glove. I don't know, I kinda like how it looks but 
I'm definitely, I'm not sure if I'm going to build, if I'm going to use this thing or if I'm going to use some of this foam. I really did sort of discount the foam until I started using it. This foam stuff, I mean, if I had to build the whole suit again, I probably would have built it out of foam. But, um, you know, this is supposed to be a Mark I version of whatever kind of spacesuit this is. So it's going to be a little more bulky, it's going to be a little hard to move around in, and that's fine because that's kind of what it's supposed to be. And that'll serve in pretty good contrast to when I build the Mark II or the Mark III, which will be a lot more... I really hate to say it, but it'll be a lot more Iron Man-y. Well, not Iron Man-y, but, you know, a lot, it'll be a lot more form-fitting, there'll be a lot more mobility. This is more like real spacesuit sort of design. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, if you guys have any suggestions about this, uh, if you guys have any advice or anything you might suggest I do to it, list that in the comments below. I look forward to your input. This is the first costume that I've ever really built like this, and it's certainly the biggest thing I've ever built to wear. And like I said, I'm interested in all kinds of feedback, so, you know, um, feedback away, eh?